Hi all, good morning. Welcome to the Azure Talks. And uh, today we are going to uh, deliver this session on how we can actually create a uh, VM and how we can actually host a website on that particular VM. So core topic is how we can host the uh, website on Azure. So to host the website on Azure, I have shared my screen. I have to create a resource first. So a resource means we are going to create a virtual machine. So for that, I would need to create a resource group first. So I will make it as a new, um, new website and say US, yes, tag. Uh, I don't want to use the tags now, but you definitely you can use it. So validation has been passed and this has been created. So, so new website, I will click on it and I will quickly create a resource and create a data center on uh, Windows Server 2019. Perfect. Okay. And over here, I will just say uh, uh, VM, Web VM. And then I will choose my data center as US. No availability set is required. Right now, um, I will go ahead and uh, choose the password. I will go for the uh, lowest version. Okay, I will go for the lowest low this version right now. And later on, I will try to uh, create the uh, switch the cost from uh, higher to lower uh, by changing the CPUs and the RAM uh, since I am demoing. So it might require a very high uh, usage, uh, very fast machine. So I will just put the uh, password to it. So this will be thrilling because uh, Right now, uh, hosting a website uh, on the uh, on the VM and trying to access to the local uh, local browser that is challenging one. So we need to understand the whole concept of uh, port white listing and then uh, network uh, ports. All those we will understand. So I will make it as a standard uh, SST and I will go for the networking. I will leave the networking as is because it's default. And go to the management over here I don't need any right now uh, on an advanced basis and I will go to the next tag and then uh, there should be an auto shutdown um, no advanced no networking disk okay okay let me review and create it Okay, so auto shutdown can be actually done uh, once this uh, VM is created up and running. So I will make sure that I'm turning it off the virtual machine. Otherwise, it will eat up the Azure uh, pass completely. Okay, and then create it. So while it is creating, I will just have the duplicate of the uh, replication of this website. Okay, so points to be noted. I will just make sure that you guys are following this. So first thing is we create uh, first one is we create the resource group once resource group created second is we will create a VM create create a VM uh, maybe server 2019 and once this is created we will whitelist whitelist the port uh, maybe 80 and 8080 and uh, okay so 80 is uh, when we when we install the IIS it, the default port will be 80 and uh, whatever website we host we will make it on 8080 so that's the uh, that's the uh, the conceptual and also third point is uh, we will log in the server and we will install fifth point is install the IIS. Okay, so yeah, so it is getting created. Still, this may take uh, probably one or two minutes and the oh very wonderful this is completed so we will just get rid of this go to the resources 
and try to connect to the server so i think uh, we created as uh, user as azure user yeah so rdp is uh, enabled and we got the rdps we will try to connect it while it connects it will ask me for the uh, username and the password i will just say connect it to the root and i will make it as uh, azure user and the password should be my favorite one okay uh, Okay, so server is online uh, and we got the access. Um, okay. Okay, so first of all, we will try to uh, add and remove features. By this, we will try to um, get the IIS installed. And once it is installing, we will do the further, uh, further setup on uh, the IPs, uh, yeah, web server, add it, and then say next. I think uh, rest would not be needed. We will just say next and install it. Okay, perfect. So while it is getting start the installation done, what we will do, we will minimize this and we will go to the overview go to the networking and over here we will just try to add the ports okay so first one was 8080 which is uh, which is good it is coming as uh, by default so i will add it and then i will add one more port make it as 80 and then done oh prt will make it as uh, 20 oh, sorry so make it as 320 and add it okay so basically this port is uh, art automatically for the RDP and this port we have custom used and we are trying to add one more port called 80 which is the default port for default website okay so i just refresh it and show you Okay, yes, so this is also installed, perfect. Now, um, so this is done. We will just try to uh, open. Okay, so this is the static IP. I will just show you that this is our static IP and we have installed the um, We have installed the IS, so IS should be available over here. Let me get the server and uh, try to go to the local server. Let me turn off the security and then I will just open the IIS. 
okay so security why i have opt because uh, turned off i will go and access this and try to open the web page by default okay and i will try to browse it and a browser with the internet information system should appear um, still waiting yes so this is this is stalled okay so you are able to see the is now what i will do if you see this particular website is hosted in 80 port so what we will do we will try to copy this uh, this is our ip address so this should be we should be able to browse it publicly from here let's see how it goes so perfect so this worked okay so i think by this uh, we uh, um, we are con we are confirming that we are able to host the website uh, the other method is also there where we can actually uh, create a new we can just replicate it let's suppose this is uh, you want to make it uh, you you can add the even more application and then try to uh, add a at at a uh, website on 80, 80, 80 port okay so uh, for today we are done and uh, thank you if you have any questions or uh, any comments uh, please uh, uh, let us know and also i would uh, request you to please like comment and share thank you very much